I believe you can be inspired by yourself. Our intuition speaks to us individually, not as a society. Listen to this conversation with an ordinary person who is following their heart. These conversations will unlock ways for you to hear your own intuition. Welcome to Inspired by Jimmy L. The talk show. Okay, um, welcome to another episode um, where we are having a wonderful chat. Another uh, chat here with you, Tom, where Straight from the Heart is teaming up with Inspired by Jimmy L. Excuse my tone for the moment. Uh, you, Tom, and I have a private conversation, I should say, and he's about to make me cry. So I'm really hoping that I don't get all emotional on uh, this one. And if I do, I'm pretty sure he's going to encourage me to just let it flow. Um, with that being said, this topic for this week is about finding a mentor and how do you know you even need a mentor or a coach? And how do you know that that one is the right one for you? And um, of course, we have my spiritual mentor, my spiritual coach, my brother from across the pond, you, Tom, here to kind of shed some light on that. So you, Tom, do you have any Blessings thoughts? Blessings and love all the way from the UK. Welcome, everybody. Thank you again for your time, the most valuable thing that you could give somebody. And I'm eternally grateful. So Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. So how do we get a mentor? Oh, yeah. yes. Yes. So what would you, how should we kick this off? Um, honestly, two different things. And I, I just, how you and I even started. Mm -hmm. um, I know we kind of started chats back and forth here and there sporadically almost a year ago, or probably a little bit over a year ago now, which is just completely at random, not even sure why we were in the same circles at that time. But um, once I started to go on a different track. You were taking a different break and, and kind of getting some things together for you personally. And for some reason, the universe kind of aligned us back together. And for us personally, I know it started out just as, you know, quick chats. And Utah has grown on me like no other person that I have met. Um, I, there's a different type of vision that he has in that it's kind of sparked something something different in me to make me start to think outside of the box. And it was kind of at that point that he and I started to get a little bit closer. And, and I was like, okay, I don't know what the heck he has, but damn it, I want it. Like, <laughs> I want it. And it just, honestly, it just started to grow naturally. And he has taught me some things on a spiritual level that I would have never known otherwise. And he has, or you, Tom, I should say you, you have become a person that I know that I can call on and that I can depend on that's not going to lead me astray. It's not about your own, your self-interest. You're really more so worried about mine. And I know that was, a, and again, I wasn't even looking for a mentor, wasn't looking for a coach. It was really something that developed naturally. So, yeah. You know what? This is going to be the shortest conversation ever because I'm just going to end it right now. Okay. By coming up with this, but we'll we'll go deeper anyway. But okay. there's an old there's an old saying. The teacher will show up when the student is ready. Mm, yeah. There is your answer to everything yeah. on there. Yeah. But let's go deeper into it, into more into our personal journeys, more okay. into about mentoring. So. A lot of people will get the, when you say, oh, I need to get a mentor, they think they physically have to go out there and pay and get a mentor. Yeah. But no, you, you don't have to, because I can say Sir Richard Branson has been one of my mentors in, in, at one point in my life. Yeah. Uh, Tony Robbins has been one of my mentors at one yeah. point in my life. Some of Gary Vee's stuff I've used. Bob Proctor is like my top mentor. Love. He's awesome. My, my number one mentor, that's, yeah, that's taking me to levels that I needed to get to, to where I am now. I've got a big, big respect for, for Bob, Bob Proctor. But then I didn't really need to be around him because they've got so much work. They've got so many books, so many, so much valuable content is that, Every evening, you can say I've spent, you can choose to spend 10 minutes or two hours or five hours with their content and their work. That means you've spent five hours with your mentor. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's how, 
if where you are at this moment, you feel, oh, I can't afford a mentor, I can't get a mentor, how am I going to get a mentor? This is the easiest way for you to, to get a mentor. And I do also, have to... a coach as well, you, before you get to, a coach will cost you money. It's, it's quite expensive <laughs> having a coach, but yes. if you're just beginning on this journey, I would suggest by, again, get one of the mentors, like I said, which is like a digital mentor. Just look at all the, the work. Eventually, by what you're going to learn from there, that will lead you to different levels in your life and stuff like that. And eventually, you will know you will be ready for coaching because you will get to a certain level that you're going to get coaching. But saying that also, you can have a coach and a mentor. So having a coach, for example, I can have my personal coach, but then I have a business mentor that's taking my business to a different level. To a different level. Or on my more of a personal level, my, my brother P, Preston, is my mentor. Like the way I am with you, I've got Preston that way. It's like, yeah, and so on. And I've mentored quite a few people and I'm still mentoring quite a few people at this moment in time. And what you will find with people that mentor, have mentees, is they love sharing what they've learned. And having a mentor, a personal mentor, will be, will shave off so many years on whatever you're trying to do. So, for example, you want to be a, a social media influencer. Get a mentor who's doing it. Yeah. Who's got the followers, who's got the everything that they've got, they're monetizing. Get that mentor. And that will probably, yeah, that mentor will take your business to the level you want uh -huh. to because they've already walked that path. So, so do you frown upon paying for a coach or a mentor in the beginning? No, absolutely. If you can afford it, go for it. Why no. not? Gotcha. Go for it. Because from personal experience, most people that enters our world, they enter the world of personal development through pain, tragedy, trauma. Something has Something. sparked that. And a lot of times they... A lot of people are not in that financial position also to be getting the coach and so on. Mm -hmm. So then that's, that's the perfect way to start learning and start developing yourself. That's why it's called personal development. <laughs> <laughs> You're personally developing yourself. So. But having a coach as well will just make you get places faster, have accountability because you've invested in yourself. Yeah. Because you've effectively paid for that coach. So whatever you've invested in, you want to see a return. And that return will be the work that you're doing on yourself. And also, you know, you're facing your coach on a weekly basis. Yeah. And yeah, there will be tasks set for you. Things that you need to, be, to do. Start coming back to your headmaster at the end of the week. Saying that I've done with it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, And if you haven't done it, We'll talk. Why didn't you do it? What was the so when that arises again in your life, you know, you're dealing with it. This is what coaching is about. So you're taking all these new tools and the new habits and you're putting it in your life. And this coach is just effectively looking from, from a blind spot, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. looking at your blind spots and telling you, yeah, okay, Jimmy, this is what's going on and this is what you need to fix up on. And... If you can't afford it, go for it because it will really take you to where you need to go a lot quicker and it'll be a lot easier as well. I know what, one thing that happened to me personally, um, I know you and I met and I didn't even know I needed a spiritual person because I thought I was doing everything right. I mean, everyone, you know, you always think you're right about everything, right? <laughs> so, I mean, I never even thought about taking who I am as a person to a deeper level. So I never, ever even remotely imagined that. But I will say that it did come a time for me personally where I was reading the books, I was watching the, the different podcasts or listening to the different podcasts and watching the different YouTube videos. And I felt like no one knew me personally. So I was like, oh, okay, you know, like, yes, I did it to this point. 
but now I'm stuck because I feel like that particular part doesn't apply to what I need to do. It doesn't, this part also doesn't apply to me personally because I don't have a billion dollar business. You know, so I'm like all of these different things that were what I found out to be were roadblocks because most of those things you can actually apply to your life on a smaller scale. But it's even finding a mentor, finding a coach that can assist you on those roadblocks. That itself. Oh my gosh. Like, um, my anger issues and snapping off at people. And um, we're just a couple of the things that I know that you, Tom, has kind of assisted me with. And it's still a work in progress. <laughs> still a work in progress. But I didn't know it existed. But it was those two things alone, honestly, stopping me from being able to turn what I love into a, a I don't want to say a business, but to, to be able to reach higher people. Like those were some major stumbling blocks for me. And I know I personally, which is why I wanted to do this topic, but I personally would suggest anyone, everyone that's out there, whether you have a business or whether you're just, you're dealing with your marriage, there's nothing wrong with going out there to get a mentor, to get a coach, someone that can help you on a personal level to kind of get you to a higher standard that you probably never knew existed. Never knew existed. What I'd like to say as well, don't, don't be afraid to reach out to people that you, you look up to maybe or you want to be like that inspires you. Don't be afraid to reach out. Send them a message. Send these people messages. You don't know what doors are going to open for you. That's true. Okay? And the other thing that will happen as well, as people start developing themselves, they change their vibration. And when you change your vib vibration, you're going to start attracting these kind of people into your life. And like we attracted one another. It's the yeah. same kind of thing. People will, you attract your people, you, like we said, you attract your tribe. And whatever's going on in that head of yours, you'll be attracting it. So everything is up to you. So by you even trying to de personally develop yourself, that shows that you want to be changing. You want to be the change. And yeah, the change starts with you and no one else. And once you start changing and the vibration will just raise and things will start showing up in your life. So let me ask you this then. Okay, so a business coach, one that you're actually now paying for, how then do you know you have the right business coach? Okay. So your business is A, B or C, whatever business you're doing. Mm -hmm. So obviously you're not going to go for a mentor who's got business D, E, F. Correct. Okay. Do your research. So if I want to, for example, I want to coach with my startup business. Okay. So I'm going to go out there and look and do my research. And as all these coaches, they, as you know, with coaches and mentors, we work some testimonial levels. Mm -hmm. Talk to people that's worked with these people. Being in there meet people, network and speak to people. Oh, do you know anybody? And so on. And then look at that person's work. Did they get results? Yeah. Did they take business A from $10 to $15? Yes, they did. In how long? In six months? Yes, they did. Tick that box. How many businesses has this person done it? Oh, they've done it over and over and they keep getting the results. Oh, cool. And then you go with your budget. Mm. Mm. Okay. And also, you also have to look at it this way. You might also have to, if your budget is not right, even though you have to go out and borrow that money to get a coach, I mean, a, a mentor or coach, do it. Because that coach will, a mentor will multiply the money that you're making in your business. And this is the investment where people don't really, oh, I'm not paying that much, that much money for so on. Okay, you will stay where you are. Because people <laughs> that knows, they realize, oh, I'm paying that mentor $20,000 but in the next six months, I'm making $200,000. Mm. So through what I've checked out. So this dude has, yep, yeah, bang, 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 done all the results. And this is how you get your mental. <coughs> and it's not that difficult. That is not it's, difficult. it's not. It's not. But I will say this, because um, there's something that I was recently looking into. Finding a business coach, someone that can kind of take my business and inspired by Jimmy L., I don't want to monetize, I don't want to monetize, or I don't want to charge people, quote unquote, 
I want to be able to do other things. And so it was something that I needed to find that was a unique, that was a coach or, you know, a mentor that was going to be unique for me in the business. I will say this, the experience in locating one um, was very interesting and it definitely tested my patience um, because a lot of the coaches that are out there now really are geared toward nothing but money. Mm -hmm. And it was the most interesting thing that I'd ever come across because the personal communication that I had with them was drastically different from what, was they, what they were posting on their, their pages. Mm -hmm. Drastically different. And you could tell by the questions that they were asking. If they start out with you in regards to um, their, their rates <clears throat> and throw out, I need you to, um, I'm trying to think of what did that man tell me? It just slipped my mind, so I guess I'm not supposed to say that. But um, anyway, I know the first three that I ran across were extremely rude. And like to a, to a degree, I understood because you don't want people to waste your time. Completely understood that. But they did not even remotely take out the time to figure out what I needed in my business mm -hmm. and what type of goal that I wanted. Um, and one, that was, that was it. <clears throat> that was it. That's what he said. He wanted to know where I wanted to take the business. So I had an ending goal that I did. How I was going to get there, I didn't know. And that was my question to him. And he literally could not, his words, not mine. If you don't know what you want, how can I help you? And it, it was really frustrating to me. So again, one hand, I understood. I understand you don't want to waste your time. But if I'm coming to you as a coach because I don't, don't know that ram i know how I, my personality i love my personality i know how to build relationships but the business side that's just like taxes hell i don't know how to do taxes but i know how to spend money <laughs> i need your help on helping me with my taxes like that's the purpose of me walk, you know talking to you um like i said i just i really found it to be interesting the different level of coaches and how everyone is not out there for your benefit everyone is not out there for your best interest and you can really tell in the type of questions and the vibe that, like you said, that you're getting from them, that whether they're, they are or are not going to be valuable to you. So, I just, so I, it was a very interesting experience. In, in every aspect of life, whether it's coaching, whether it's driving, whether it's in the world of management, whether it's in the world of directorship, you will have exactly the same issues. Hmm. You will have the good ones and the bad ones. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. the balance of life. And it's yeah. good because you're now looking for a business coach and it's good you know what you don't want. Yeah. But the beauty about things, look out for coaches that are giving you that discovery call. They give you that free two hours of their time. A, a good coach, a very good coach, will spend up to five, ten hours with you getting to know what you want and getting hmm. to know that they can work with you. That's a really good coach because they will spend time with you. They're not going out there trying to get clients. Any client will do no. Mm -hmm. So even that coach will push you away. But all in time, it's, it's a good lesson you're going through because you're not going for the first coach. And eventually you will find that particular coach that you need yeah. who is a vibrational match to you. And also it shows you how not to be as well. <laughs> valuable lessons that you're learning absolutely valuable lessons believe me I've been through all what you're talking about okay. I've been when I first started out I reached out to to a coach I used to like look up to and was like oh I would like to learn from you and shadow you and he was like yeah cool uh, set up this call with me then he's trying to sell me his coaching package mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah if I for example, I've got somebody who came up to me now and says, look, I admire what you do and I would like to learn from you. I let that person shadow me for free whilst I'm working, whilst I'm doing a coaching session, whilst I'm on stage or whilst I'm in my interview or I'm talking to somebody in a conversation. That person can be there. They can, they can shadow and learn from what I'm doing. That's effectively what I wanted. But no, that particular person saw dollar dollar bills. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is what you have to be very careful about as well, because there's people getting it solely in the business. 
into coaching because they think, oh, look at the lifestyle of A, B, and C. I want to have that lifestyle. Exactly. But then they don't have the substance and the content to go with it. Or the other classic one, you get coaches out there. I can only talk from my perspective, so I'm not a business coach, but I can, I can coach on business as well. But you get people who's gone and done a course for two weeks and paid $4,000, $5,000. <laughs> and they've come out of that course and they're calling themselves a master coach because I've got a master guild coaching certificate. Mm -hmm. But you've never effectively done any work in yourself. So it's like me saying if a mechanic has read a book for three weeks and been told to go underneath a car and start working on that car, that person wouldn't know anything about the car because all that person has done has looked at the book. So to get a really good coach, go and find somebody that was broken as fuck and they've risen up like a falcon, like a phoenix from the ashes. They've risen up and they're now inspiring the world. They're inspiring people to better themselves. These are the kind of coaches and mentors you want to be looking for because they've... They haven't just sat down and had a spare $20,000 to do a course or has retired or had the lump sum of money that they can just have thrown on something and thinking, oh, I'm going to have that lifestyle. But these coaches that's been broken, they've had a dream, they've had a vision, they've got aspirations that got them down from the streets, from alcohol, from drugs, from breakups, from trauma from rapes, from so many things. And these person are up now shining that light. This is the kind of people that you want in life. And you can't go wrong. You can absolutely not go wrong with these people because their heart will be so pure as well because they've been through those trials. Through it all. They've been through the trauma. Because they're not trying to get an investment. They're not trying to get a return back on their 20 grand investment. Because for, for, for these people, it's a passion. It's what we wake up for every morning. You know, it's like we, we can talk to people. There are coaches, and I'm like that as well, out there that will coach, not coach people, but help people sometimes. You know, that people that can't afford or whatever it is. But there are certain coaches that they'll believe in that because they see, they will say to if you're coaching someone without money, if you're giving advice, it's not coaching. So, yeah, people will say that. So they will they say, if I want advice, I'll go to my mom, I'll go to my dad or my brother. But if I want professional advice, I will pay coach as well. But then it shows you that that's the ego playing. I was going to, yeah. Yeah, because I know so many successful coaches that are traveling the world or changing the world. And they have that time for you, where they are absolutely busy. When I say they're busy, they're busy, busy, busy. And they find that 10, 20 minutes to talk to you if you need that. And that, that's what makes the difference. And when you find somebody like that, just hold on to that, man. Because you won't find many people like that. And for me, it's from personal experience again. You know, I've had the pleasure of having so many different mentors and people around me that even up to now, if I need to call them up, I can call them up and they've got that time for me. But then again, I've attracted these people by becoming the person that I am. But there was a time when the ego was there. I was attracting those kind of coaches that I was telling you about, oh, <laughs> when you're giving advice, you have, you know, and so on. I was around these people. It was all about entrepreneurship, who's making mm -hmm. the six figures, the seven. Mm -hmm. That's all the conversation it's that was going around. But now it's a different conversation going around in my head. How can I make this world a better place? How can I be of service today Com compared to how can I make my first million? Because that's when you will make your first million because the first million will become, will become a byproduct of the service that you're giving. Bless you up. Mm. So, and you'll find that the people chasing the million, they will forever be unhappy because where does it end? 
but the more you serve, you can never stop serving. And the more you serve, the bigger the heart gets. And the bigger you can give service, and the more open you are, the more compassionate you are, the more loving you are, and you will change everything around you. Because it is contagious. People will look and like, wow, what did Jimmy do to become like that? And then you'll get people coming to you, oh, can you mentor me, please? And things like that. And then we just pass it on. And that's all we can do as, as human beings. But again, we live in a world of consumerism. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. effectively, it's become a business. It is a business. It is. But there's a lot of scammers. Oh, my gosh. There are scammers. And there's also business models out there that will make the money. Funnels. Yeah. And so on. They will make you the money. And I'm not looking down on it, each to their own. It works for some people. It doesn't work for some people. At one point in my life, it did work for me. But I'm fortunate that I found spirituality, that everything's within me, that I don't need to search out there. And the more I go within me, the more I'm finding. And the more treasures are coming up. And that's, that's the best way I will, I will say it, anyway, as you know, Jimmy. All that's right, my, then. That's my philosophy in life. Well, time is running down on us. And um, I definitely, if you guys haven't learned anything at all, I definitely want to leave you with this. Find you a mentor that is just as passionate as you, Tom, is. Um, he's made some amazing, amazing, amazing changes in me. Um, probably knowing and probably unknowing. But uh, find someone that is very similar, someone that just has that passion for whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. Yeah, someone that doesn't, it's not asking for anything in return, you know? So, yeah, that's it for me, Utah. I've got I know I thank you. I've got to say I thank you. Like, I know you know this already, but I thank you for what you've done already and definitely what the heck you got to do for me in the future. <laughs> oh, oh, just, do you know what Jimmy thank you as well thank you for being part of my journey and I've got nothing more to say about the mentor it's everything you've said it in, in your last phrases that you've just said and yeah live well with one another because if we don't what's the point I'm signing out straight from the heart love you sending you love and light bye for now see you guys